Counteracting bad behaviour online is as much about advocating good behaviour as raising awareness of the risks. Firstly, you should emphasise positive use of digital communication tools. Video calls with schools around the world are just one example. They give young people opportunity to adapt how they interact online according to the audience while considering global cultural values. Secondly, if we're going to deter high-risk negative online behaviour, learners need to be able to recognise it. One way would be to ask them to define cyberbullying and associated behaviours. Discuss different types of cyberbullying and get learners to evaluate their own conduct by creating a questionnaire to see what their experiences are. Investigate the identities of people who post derogatory comments and highlight the warning signs of trolling, such as people posting without using their real names. A class debate arguing for either criminalisation of trolling or freedom of expression would be a good way to introduce this subject. Learners should know the importance of developing active strategies for limiting exposure to high-risk situations. Use real-life examples of impact of cyberbullying on young people's health and well-being. There are preventative measures that learners can take. These include password protection and privacy settings, blocking and deleting comments, and remembering to log off. For the internet to be a safer place, we all need to make a conscious effort to ensure that what we do online is not harmful to either ourselves or others.